Miss Peyton, you are the only lamb today. And as you're growing so much and so quickly before our eyes, you'll have to sit with these spoiled teenagers one day soon. So they're waving at you. Since I'm recording this for YouTube fame, I, I did announce last week that you earned and was, was granted your black belt, first degree black belt, in your study of martial arts. So congratulations again. This is for posterity. I'm sure, I, you know, I meant to go over to uh, your mom's Facebook page. I'm sure she probably, did she take pictures of you and put on Facebook? You, remember, you don't even know, do you? Oh. Did you? She said yes. That's what moms do. That's what Facebook is for. Uh, have uh, playing cards today. They have really big numbers on them for old people, like me. A big ten. The, the numbers of the, the, the suits. So there's a song. If I had uh, this, had did not occur to me until late last night. But for this particular object lesson, there's kind of a song that goes with it, and I could have asked. Uh, Brother Danny to lead us in singing that, and of course he would have. Every time if I want to hear something or want him to lead us in singing, I just ask him. So you do that sometime, but, but not Jesus is coming soon. We don't do that one anymore. So uh, we, we did that one a lot. So uh, that's, that's a story behind that. I don't even know if you remember that. But anyway, that the song is Count Your Blessings. And I don't know if that's something that kids your age even say anymore or have heard anybody say. It's called count your many blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God hath done. It's, a, it's kind of a thing like, and this is what people say, that sometimes when you get to feeling sad or down or blue or however you feel when you don't feel great, then think of the good things in your life. In other words, count them. Well, they hear their side. I've got mom and dad loves me and I've got, I'm, 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 are you out of school? That's number two, maybe that's number one, but you're out of school for the summer, so counting your blessings is recommended as a way of picking up your spirits or making yourself feel better because you say, you know what, I may be sad or have something to be sad about, and uh, when we even think of Memorial Day, Memorial Weekend, tomorrow is actually Memorial Day, we remember a lot of sad things, people who actually gave their life for our country and for our liberty and freedom, and, and many other people's freedoms too around the world. Uh, we uh, we can get very sad thinking about things like that, but uh, also their lives are wonderful to remember, and I know their family members and many people. There are many people today who are thinking good thoughts and good things. Let me show you something. This is called this is a counting trick. It's one of the, my favorite counting tricks. I'm going to take a. I've got my cards here. I'm going to take one, two, three. Four, five, six cards. So if I were counting blessings, I, these are six things that I can think of that I'm thankful. A blessing is something, is a wonderful thing, it's a good thing. Uh, it's more or less, I guess, a religious word. It's certainly used a lot in the Bible. And when the Bible said, wants to say something, God did something wonderful for this person, a lot of times it will say, uh, he blessed them. And sometimes even today, people will say, have a blessed day. That means have a good one, all right? But, uh, you know, blessings don't ever really, we don't ever have the six. If I took three of them, just these three right here, and I used them up, and that's usually, you don't really throw them away, but you kind of use them. You, you enjoy them. And then suddenly they're gone. But the good thing about counting your blessings, let's count them again. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. I really do believe that there's an innumerable, inexhaustible supply of blessings that could come from God. And so counting them is very challenging. You know, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. She's flipping out. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> and we just, you know, thank you, Lord. I count one, two, and three. And God says, you're using up your blessings that I'm sending you. And you're grateful for them. And you're thankful. You should always say, Mom, thank you for washing my clothes. I know you do that every day, don't you? 
thank you for cooking my food for me and, and picking me up from school. And thank you. Thank you. Even thank your sister. Thank you for staying out of my stuff and out of my room. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. She's going, yeah. Count your many blessings. See what God has done. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, we may or may not be able to just continue and go on, and we only have so much time in this service, but I appreciate you watching this. And so the thing about this is it has nothing to do with cards or how many of them there are, but blessings, and I think that there's just a world of them. There's more than six. There's more than uh, 52. There's more than 365. So sometimes when you feel lonely or down or sad or for any reason, maybe you're sick, you have a cold or a sore throat or any number of things where they like say, you know, I don't like this, then to begin to think, this is what I do like. And God has blessed me here. My parents have blessed me. I have good friends, people who love me. And I guarantee you, if you do that, so often it will, it will pick you up. It will make you smile. I know that it does me. Okay? Don't forget that. It's important. 